Hey guys, Big Daddy Biggs, West Louisiana Bee Farm, and we're going to get out in the bee yard and take a look at some comfort hives. Doing a few conversions, going to show you how to make a conversion from a 5 frame nuke or a Langstroth hive <clears throat> to a comfort hive. Hopefully, that's the plan anyway. Let's go out there and take a look. Alright, so here's the here's the boxes and I know this is kind of a strange looking configuration. It was just kind of quick and simple that I put together. I'm gonna run through it a little bit, what we got going on. Down here at the bottom, I've got a screened bottom bottom box and it's sitting on a, a ceramic tile, 15 by 15 ceramic tile. On top of that I've got my second comfort hive box and uh, kind of what I did let me show you this thing <clears throat> I had this this is cut or, or put together the same dimensions as this box here as a five frame nuke except that the depth of it is only as deep as what these comfort hives are so what I had is I had skewers, whoops, I got it upside down. I had skewers across here, and then I had this box on top of this yellow box with the lid on top of it, of course. What the bees did is they filled up, you can see some of the comb in here, still here. They filled up this top box with comb, with uh, some nectar, some pollen, and a few eggs. So when that happened, I took these. I know I didn't show you this, but I'm just kind of walking you through it. I took these skewers out. I'm going to set this back to the side. <clears throat> and then I put them in this bottom box, just like they were in this box. Kind of gave them a head start. Then I put this box on top of it with the skewers across the top, eight skewers. Then, I took, and I'm gonna show you this in a little more detail here in a few minutes. I took this uh, Reflectex and I covered the top of these boxes, but I've got a good hole cut out in this Reflectex so that the bees can move from this box, this yellow box, the five frame nuke, back and forth between the two boxes hoping that they'll fill out these bottom two boxes then when that's done I'll make sure that there's eggs and even if the queen is down there I'll be happy with that uh, then I'll take this box off I'll set it over here somewhere just a few feet away I'll put a bottom on it I'll make a split in other words I'm going to make sure that this one has eggs in it. If it doesn't, I'll take eggs from another hive somewhere and put in here. That way they'll make another queen. So, you have to make sure that everything is closed off. The very th first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pause the video, and then I'm going to take this off and kind of show you what's going on right here so you'll kind of get a clear understanding of what's happening. Well, one, one thing before I do. The Reflectex that's between the two boxes, I stapled it. You can see a staple, a couple of staples right here. I stapled it to the bottom of the yellow box, and I just left a little bit of an opening there so that the bees can come and go. Because they were kind of confused. That's where they normally would go in and out of the box. They were having a hard time finding that hole. So I just I left that option open for them. Not a big hole. I see they're using it now. Yeah, they're using that one now. So anyway, I'm going to take all of this off and show you what's kind of going on under there. Be right back. 
Okay, as you can see, I took the tile off and the brick that was kind of holding it on here. Um, now I'm going to take this little bit of Reflectex off. These bees are kind of active this morning. And I didn't get a good spray on them. So, we're kind of going to see what's going on in here. Alright, you see how they're all clustered under here? They're probably festooning. They're probably... It is kind of cool. I have to say it's about 65 degrees. But they're... Most of them, it looks like, are down here in the bottom. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get the camera down in there a little bit. I'm not sure what you can see, but it looks like to me that they're building comb here at the top, in the top box now. So, I'm going to continue taking this apart, and I'll come back periodically and show you what's going on. We may be able to go ahead and make a split. I just need to see what's happening for sure down in this bottom box. Be right back. So, just taking the lid off of the yellow box. See if you can get a good look at down what's down in here. Looks like there's plenty going on. I know the lighting's kind of bad. But it looks like there's a good many bees in the top too. So let's take this box off and see what we can find underneath. If, if it doesn't look like I can safely do it yet, <clears throat> I'm probably not. Okay, I took the top box off, got it set over here, and as you can see, there's the slot. They're trying to connect the uh, comb from the skewer up to the, uh, the top frame, or the frame above it, and uh, I kind of messed that up for them, but they'll fix it. So let's do a, a little bit of a reveal here. Oh, yeah. Now, you'll see there's comb down in the bottom laying down there. I'm not sure if maybe something fell or what exactly is going on. That would have been after uh, give these girls a little smoke. It would have been after I put this together. So, I'm thinking that they're probably not quite ready to be oh yeah, I see what happened now. One of the one of the skewers fell and now I'm gonna tell you I just want to be real clear about this I'm not uber concerned and you probably don't need to be either with how this bottom box looks when you're making this conversion as far as how they put the comb together uh, it's it, it for the first one it's just going to have to be what it is. It may be a big problem. There may be a lot of cross comb. It may, it may be impossible to work with uh, for some people. That's okay. Once you make your split, once you get the yellow box, the top box, the five frame nuke off, and you, you go ahead and start making your split, you put your next box on top of here, and then they'll start, make sure you got your, your skewers all right. And you may have to come in for the next few weeks and, and just correct them a little bit in the direction that their comb goes. But everything should be fine after your second box. From your third box, fourth box, fifth box, on up to your eighth box. However many boxes you end up putting on it as honey supers. Everything should be fine from there on out. That bottom box, I'm just going to tell you. Don't overcomplicate this. Don't worry too much about it. And don't panic when you see... Let me just show you what I've already seen. This one right here. They're not building it on the skewer. Okay? This one is getting off the skewer a little bit. No telling what, look, what it looks like down there. Your main goal is to make sure that you've got some brood... In these top, uh, bottom two boxes, and some honey, and some pollen, to get the new colony started, and then you'll fix it from there on up. All right, and then you can make however many splits you want to after after the first season, uh, or if you feed them up really good. I mean, you might be able to do that in your first season. So anyway, I think that's going to be. No, I've got one more box we're going to go look at. I'm going to show you a, another way that this can be done. And uh, 
I'll put this back together and I'll be back in just a second. It'll just be an instant for you though. All right, here we are with the uh, the next box. And as you can see, like I explained before, this is just a five frame nuke. It's got Langstroth deep frames in it. This and this are the Comfort Hive conversion boxes. They're basically, not quite perfectly, but the, the same general dimension of the uh, the five frame nuke box that I've got. All right, kind of fits mostly all the way around, as you can see. Now, we're gonna take the lid off, and I'm gonna have to pause this a second again because I need both hands for this, with it, the way it stick. Okay. They like the smoky bar room. They start playing music when they get it. That was corny. Okay. Good deal. I'm going to take this on off. Now this hive, I'm not sure what's going on with it. And I'm not sure how they even do this. But they keep moving these sticks around up here. I'll put them in straight. Maybe the weather. Maybe the hot and cold. Rain and dry. It ain't been real dry around here. But anyway, probably the weather. Okay, you see how they've got the comb? They're, they're actually, on this hive, they're building it on the skewers. But they are crossing it. And that's going to be a common thing with a, um, a, a Sam Comfort hive. You're going to get some cross comb. And it's okay. Because this is not... This is a more natural way to do your, your beekeeping. But anyway, you can see now they're kind of starting to build up from the skewers. And they're going to end up connecting them to these. Uh... But, okay, here's what we'll do. We're not going to do anything today. But how this is going to work is real similar to the other one. We're going to take, I'm going to take these two boxes off and make a split. I don't know what happened. Uh, my phone had a notification and my video shut off, so I'm going to start kind of back over. I'm going to, I don't know where it shut off either. But I'm going to take these two boxes off and I'm going to make a split. These two boxes are going to become a new hive over here to the side. And I'm going to wait and let them get it kind of full, get it kind of full of bees. And then once they get used to the new location, this is just my personal preference. Uh, once they get used to the new location, I may actually even put a third box, like the one we had over at the other hive a while ago. I may actually put a third box on here and let them build it out before I actually start transferring them over into a regular Sam Comfort box. Um, just, just, you don't have to do it that way. You could actually let them fill these up, run you a string, like a fishing line, through here to both sides, and then just kind of pull it through like that, and it'll cut this comb, it'll separate it from the bottom box, then you can pull these skewers out, put them in a Sam Comfort box, a regular square box. Uh, these two boxes together will make one bottom box. So you can kind of see why I may want to do a third box on this, just to kind of give it some extra comb, some extra frames. Those other two boxes over there that we just left from, they're going to have a total of 16 filled out combs. So they'll be okay to make a split directly. This will only have 12. And if I, if I put a third box on top of it, only eight if I don't. So I would like to kind of put a third box on top of this before I actually uh, fill it out for a, a full Sam Comfort hive. And that's probably what we're gonna do. Once they get these combs connected, I may just go ahead and put a third box on top of here before I even do anything else. I think I've talked myself from one thing into another today. <laughs> interesting okay uh i don't think there's anything else that needs to be said about this hey if you like the video and if you find it helpful give it a thumbs up if you don't find it helpful don't worry about it 
Y'all have a good day. Oh, and by the way, it's Memorial Day. Be grateful for what you got in this country. Be thankful to the fallen soldiers. And my hat's off to every one of you guys. I know you'll never see this video. That's okay. My heart's there. Have a good day, y'all. Happy Memorial Day.